All right, guys, I'm going to take the most epic selfie ever. The duck face. The duck face selfie. Ready? All right, I hope that was wonderful, everybody. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. My storage is full of my phone, and I can't capture this wonderful thing I'm about to do. Wait, no, that's not true because I have Google Photos. Brings me, brings me to this. Let's get off of this for a second. So today I'm talking about Google Photos and a new feature they have. Um, I, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Brian Buffington here in lovely Cleveland, Georgia, working in a place called Pioneer Risa. And I like to tell people about technology that makes their lives better, especially teachers. Um, and so Google Photos, I've been traveling the land talking about Google Photos for the past two years. because This has really changed my life um, because phones, I never, I, I didn't always have a phone that had a large hard drive. That means I would take pictures and it would fill up quickly. All right, I'm talking about fill up quickly and then you can't take pictures of videos of your class, uh, your classroom, your kids, <clears throat> your vacation. And this is a pain. Then Google Photos came along, and pretty much anytime I take a picture or a video, it uploads to Google Photos, and it's free, unlimited storage. All right, free. So my wife and I, we both have accounts. She has a Gmail account. I have a Gmail account. And we do this, and we don't really worry too much about uh, storage on our phones. I take lots of pictures. Um, and when I say free, by the way, everybody understands because I'm just very upfront about this. When Facebook says you have a free account, Instagram says you have a free account. Anybody says you have a free account. What you're really doing is you're trading information. You're giving some information about yourself in exchange for this uh, for this service. And I'm sure that's the same way that Google is using my photos. I don't think they're using it on billboards, but they, I'm sure they are mining it for something. And that's just a sacrifice that I'm willing, willing to make, my family's willing to make. Um, so that's that. That's that little uh, disclaimer there. But yeah, I've been using it for a couple of years now. Tons of things up there um, that I upload. And let's see if my selfie just showed up. I have my phone over here on the right. On the left is a, my, uh, I guess, a laptop browser in Chrome. Let's, I'm going to refresh, see if my new selfie popped up. I bet it will. Bet you. Look at that. Boom. Look, duck face and everything. Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. So what that means, though, is that my phone, if it crashed right now, my photo would be safe. That wonderful duck face photo. It would be safe um, in the cloud. And Google backs up their stuff a few times. But let's get to the new feature. All right, that's enough of the sales the sales uh, pitch about Google Photos. I mean, it's not really a sales pitch. I don't make money from that. Is they have partner sharing now. Now, partner sharing is not partner swapping. That's, that's something totally different. We're not talking about that. Um, but partner sharing means Miss Buffington, she has her account. I have my account. And now we can go anytime we take a picture, on either, either our phones, we now have combined accounts to become one. It's kind of like that Spice Girls song, that classic, classic Spice Girls song. So we, our two accounts are now one. And so when she takes pictures, they come in my Google Photos feed. When I take pictures, it goes in hers. So that's wonderful. When we're out doing vacation, we're doing life. And I say, oh, I need a picture of my, my daughter. I need a picture of my son. I can go into Google Photos and there they are. It's awesome. Unlimited storage, backup. Um, so and don't forget too. This is kind of off off topic here, but not only does it back up your phone, you can actually upload hard drives worth of photos. So if you were some of you already been taking digital photos for ten years, and you've got maybe a terabyte of pictures. Go ahead and upload those too. All right, and it organizes them by face, which I really really like. So I want to show you the setting. Um, you can do it from your phone, but I'm kind of I'm kind of old, so I like to uh, say so the Photos app right here. You see the Google Photos app? There it is. There's me and my little duck faces. And as you can see, um, I took them on my phone, but they automatically uploaded to uh, my Google Photos account in the cloud. And they're on my laptop now. It's This is all happening very fast, very fast, okay? But here's the setting. So if you're logged in to Google Photos um, in your browser or on your phone, you can go to your settings and you should see sharing. Um, here's my shared library. It says I have a shared library with Brooke. I can go to settings and double check, and there it is, it says shared libraries. There it goes, and I can choose what she can see. Like I could make a special album or, or something and say, no, only uh, only pictures that go here she can see, but we just, I just did everything, all right? We don't hide anything, all right? Buffington household, it's all it's all one. So uh, it was just really cool, it makes total sense. But you know, I, I could always remove, I could remove her, you know, if I needed to. But you, just to be upfront again, you have to know that anytime your partner takes a picture, you're going to get it in your Google photo. So um, if your partner does, you know, likes to fish all the time, you're going to have a lot of fish pictures in your Google photos account. 
it's not really big of a deal uh, to me um, that, you know, my wife has her pictures in there with mine. I can search through them. I can still find stuff. It's Again, it's not a huge deal. But know that they're going to be mixed in there, intermingled. So it's called partner sharing. It's a new setting. Uh, this happened a few months ago with Google Photos. Hey, dive in. Get with your boo and say, you know what? Let's take this to the next level. Let's share pictures together. I love it. I love you guys. Talk to you later.